Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK journey. As we continue to grind this out with our AFK progression, we are all the way to, that is right, 684. We're making a lot of progression in here. And of course, we are trying to farm up Hero Essence. I do have my two instant rewards in here, hoping to pull some gear, which unfortunately we do not. Now, overall, we could buy some of these, but I'm not gonna buy them as of yet. And the reason being, we wanna do some more summons in here. We're still looking for a couple of heroes. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and level up another hero. And I think I'm gonna do Smokey. Let's go for Coco in here. You know what, we'll just go right down the line. Now, Coco is one of the heroes that I'm just absolutely astonished by with how well this hero works. Now, of course, Within the hand of residence, we can swap a couple of heroes out, but every single day we've been getting one, probably at least two, as we continue to farm through the tower progression, um, really going through a couple battle modes and getting through this legend trial, making sure we're finishing those out. Now, of course, every time that we have gained those 10 levels, we've been able to make a little bit of more progression, which that is right, welcome to hell. We are here with the snow stomper and we are in the hell results. Now, one thing I do wanna note with this is looking at here at the normal attacks, that is right, Flora Bell is here. Don't know what the impact is gonna do. Um, don't know exactly what the tier list for the new hero is going to look like in here where exactly she's gonna fit in, how she's gonna look in the boss modes. But Floribel, we are still looking to pull a copy with the rate up. Now, of course, we are not buying any of the rate up invitation letters. This is just straight up with diamonds. So we have another 3000 here. Fingers crossed, we only have 20 left. Could we possibly get this out of here? I'm hoping we're gonna see the gold light right here, the, the gold uh, summoning, which it is not, it is purple. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait till we get another 3,000, but we've got another copy of Odie. Now, Odie, I've been building, we're moving him slowly towards Supreme, but overall, I've been focusing a little bit more on two other heroes, one being um, Merrily, and then of course being Corin. Now, the big reason is they're both in the A-level hero, so we know that they are literally um, in the A-level, so easier to obtain, but overall, when you look at a lot of the guides, when you look at a lot of the boss fights, they are best in slot for a ton of the fights, and it also is built with their exclusive item, which means we have to get them to the point of getting them unlocked, essentially, to get to the point of building up that exclusive item. Now here, we did pick up three epic letters. Now we only need four to go. So this might be to an absolute pity pull if we see these three not yield any results and we don't get a hero out of here. I'm hoping we don't go that far, which right there, purple one, which means again, we're gonna have to do another recruit here. Is it gonna be the gold this time? We are close and nope, it is blue, which of course is an acorn. And fingers crossed, is this one it? Or is it going straight pity? It is purple again, which means we are going pity on here again. There's Damon. So of course, uh, one more to go. So pity timer does suck again. We're getting stuck and I don't know if this is gonna do the exact same with Floribel that I'm gonna have to do 10, but because I'm not banning the rate up letters, I don't have an option to actually go in here and do any of the summons like I could do one by one to make sure we can get her and pull her a little bit earlier than we normally would. Not an option, unfortunately, in there. Now in here, we did get a couple scrolls as well, so I'm gonna go through here looking for S-level heroes, but again, looking for Maribel, um, or, or merely looking for Corinne, looking for Odie, looking for Coco, some of the very, very strong heroes that we have in here. If we could get some more copies of Shakir, I would be very happy with that as well. We're still using him, and then I wanna hop over to the Dream Realm. We're gonna do a couple farming in there, and I'll show you exactly how I do it. So there's Coco. Now, Coco is one, in my opinion, guys, that we very, very highly underestimated. So to make the progression that I have been making right now, within those AFK rewards, it has been running double support. So I've actually been running Smokey with Coco. And then of course, OD was in there and OD was the actual one I'm um, doing the damage, which there we go, guys. There is another copy. OD is, is dropping like wildfire in here, which is kind of crazy, but let's go ahead and get through all the rest of these summons. And I'm not gonna use any diamonds because unfortunately we don't have any, but I wanna make sure that we're using our scrolls. Every single time we do a summon is one closer. Right here, 15 more, we're gonna guarantee an S-level hero, which means we're gonna be able to like make a little bit more progression. Now, of course, we were waiting for the Emporium. We were waiting for essentially some of the recruitment stores waiting for these. We still have two weeks, guys. Oh, it's killing me to get through here with the two weeks because ultimately we can't do anything with the Stargazer. 
Stargazer has literally just been sitting there. I'm gonna have to go through here and pick up some of these as well. Now, Dream Store, like I was saying, we're picking up on Mayor Lee. We're getting a couple copies. And then, of course, out of here, we're getting closer in the Arena Store. I'm gonna build out Cecilia. She is gonna be my first choice. And then again, we're just waiting to build these out in the Guild Store, making sure that we can actually get a couple more copies. Still looking for Rainier. So overall, I think we might have, what do we got in the Guild or in the Resonating Hall? Might have ability to level somebody up. Who is it looking in here? And sometimes it's hard to see when they have the yellow exclamation point and you can't really see it. There it is, Silvana. So we got 10 with Silvana with the other one we picked up. Boom, Raveborn Tower, absolutely loving her, but that does take her to Mythic. And look at that, guys. We are starting to see a lot of our Mythic heroes in here. Now this Dream Realm, I haven't tried this yet, so we just killed the boss out the first time. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you the team that I'm running. And this has been the best in slot or the best DPS. Now, of course, I am running right down here. We are running Shakir. Um, Shakir is not very strong at all. We only have him right there at Mythic, or excuse me, not at Mythic, um, but at, at the little bit of a lower level. I'm drawing a blank on the, on the red because AFK Arena is Mythic is red. Um, but overall, we don't have him built out. Now, I know the guides that we have seen have said you do have to have that exclusive item on there. But overall, this is a team that has been doing well Again, I don't know exactly where we're gonna be here in the hell competition or, or getting here, but a lot of players were also commenting on the percentages where we've actually been landing within these game modes. Now, the big thing to remember with this, and you do have to kind of take it with somewhat of a grain of salt, is we are on server one where majority of the players that are big, big whales within AFK Journey are on server one. So we do have very, very strong competition in here which I'm okay with because I know this is where we wanted to start. Um, D2 and I, when we first hopped over and did the guild Vanguard, um, we made and essentially came in here and knew what we were getting into as either very, very small spenders or free to play players. So even here guys, we pick up a little bit more of our tiers, which I'm okay with. I, I'm really okay with top 20, doing pretty good again for what we're putting in here, just a couple bucks here and there. Now what I do is I make sure I hop in here Go through the Dream Realm, we do one or two attempts. Then I go through everything else. We can do the Honor Duel, we can do the Arena, we can do the Legend Trial. Um, go through some more floors in the Arcane Labyrinth and essentially full circle, I come back around, which of course we should have dropped Coco out of here for another hero, but we will come around full circle essentially to get in every one of our attacks. And I cannot stress it enough, this again is from kind of the AFK Arena experience is they give you seven chances. The, the RNG factor in here is eliminated by doing multiple multiple attempts, meaning if you have seven chances every single day, make sure you are utilizing and you are using all seven attempts in here every single day. If not, you're gonna be missing out essentially on some loot that you could be getting out of there. Now, of course, in here, I wanna continue just literally farming up the loot that I can. I don't have enough diamonds in there, unfortunately, to buy anything, but there we go. We're getting some more of the Vanguard Gauntlets. And of course, the ability we're getting to the 170 uh, random equipment, we have to get there. Because of course, when it comes to our progression, we've been really hindered. There's a couple battles that I have to take out here, but we are trying to hit, that is right, 700 is the AFK stage to go into um, Mountain 7, which I believe is the next zone down here in Mountain 7. And I don't know how much there is past that, but essentially you can see we have one, two, I think two camps to clean up in here. And then we'll be at 100% in this zone as well. And we have grinded everything out to 100%. We did all of our town quests. We've actually done everything up to this point with AFK Journey and we are continuing to make some very solid progression. Now, in addition, we know that boom, the Primal Lord is going to be up very, very soon. And I wanna see exactly what this Primal Lord looks like. Gonna do a lot of damage. Now these just give honestly, very, very stupid loot with the amount of loot that they give in there. So make sure you're fighting out those primal lords and you're putting some decent battles in there or some decent time and effort in there to maximize and get those three attempts every time that you have the opportunity to. But all right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.